good afternoon YouTubers it's not a very nice day today it's a bit wet and horrible we had a massive thunderstorm earlier this morning it was pretty epic some nice loud thunder and big flashes of lightning spectacular to watch from the indoors wouldn't like to be caught out in it though today I am on a mission to find some new motorcycle boots because my ones are knackered so heading over to Worthing to have a look in a couple of the bike shops see what they've got on offer oh, riding down the white line in the wet that's how I roll. Oh, this feels slippy. That, oh, that was definitely slippy. I thought it got given a thumbs up to the camera then, but I don't think he was. Welcome to Worthing Seafront. Weather's normally nicer than this. He says, haha, this is normal for a British summer. So I've been to Ashton's Accessories in Worthing and picked these RST things up for just short of a hundred quid. These are them, RST per, 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 Paragons. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Paragon. Ah, rusty Paragon. Only wearing jeans today would be a bad idea. And they're on. So if you're looking for a cheap pair of motorcycle boots, just to get you started, if they still do these, Nitro NB30s, I do recommend them. They've lasted me quite well. I'll try these out now. Watch me fall over. If I do, you have my permission to laugh. First challenge, jump off a small ledge. Pass. Second challenge, ride a bike without killing yourself. Oh, I'm going to be hopeless at changing gear in these, they just don't feel right. Right, let's go and hopefully not make a twat out of myself. Actually, these aren't too bad. I thought I'd really have to fumble around for the gear shifter, but no, I seem to be able to find it quite well. I just can't feel it as well as... Uh, in the old boots. Brake, yep, there it is. That's easy enough. The 
boots feel good. They feel like they're going to be quite warm as well in the winter, hopefully. They're very comfortable, I have to say. Riding in them is comfortable, so uh, hopefully walking around as well will be pretty good. A quick video update. I'm off work next week, so I've got a few days spare and I've got a couple of videos planned. I should hopefully get round to doing the uh, walk around on the bike so you can uh, see it a bit better on video. I need to give it a clean first, which uh, hopefully I uh, will get a chance to do if the weather stays, well, anything the opposite of what it is today. Uh, also, I will be doing a what happened in the crash video. So that's a couple of videos I'll be making in my time off and hopefully get them uploaded as soon as they're uh, all edited together. So they'll be coming soon. As for Pillock of the Day, the next episode of that, I've um, not got much footage for that yet. I've only got one incident to uh, put on the next one, so uh, it's not been too bad the last week since uh, Pillock of the Day 4. But I'm sure, no doubt, there will be some more to come. And that woman who was using her phone in the red van at the end of Pillock of the Day episode 4, that was reported to Sussex Police and they have sent a letter to the registered keeper. So she's had a bit of a telling off, hopefully. Oh, it's really caking it down now. I think I'm just going to go home and be dry and have a cup of tea. And probably back off from this Mini because I won't be able to stop if the Mini has to stop. Sensible riding 